This is Rick again, and in this section, uh, we're going to be looking at how to create an in-group. All an in-group is is basically a destination for an inbound number. Okay, um, it kind of works like a campaign in the sense that you have to assign agents to the in-group in order to be able to take those calls. Okay, they don't have to log into it. Okay, but it has to be a two-step process here. And the campaign that the agents are logging into, if they're going to be able to receive inbound calls, then not only does the inbound group have to be allowed in that campaign, but that agent has to be assigned to that in-group in order for him to receive the calls. So let's look at creating an in-group. First thing we're going to do in our administration in VCDAO, we're going to click on inbound. And then we're going to click on add a new in-group. Now, adding a new in-group, we're going to give it an ID, and we're going to call it, uh, let's say, Texas callback. Okay, this is going to be the Texas callback number. Alright, let's add a group color to designate when the call comes in it will highlight a particular color. So let's say blue. Let's make sure it's active. If you have a a custom web form you want to use for this, you can set the URL here and it will pop up every time a call comes in. If you have a custom voicemail, you can set it here. Uh, the next agent call, you want to set it so maybe the longest wait time. So the agent that's been waiting the longest to receive a call will receive the first new call that comes in. Uh, script, if you have a particular set, uh, specialized script for this in-group. So whenever a call comes into this in-group, this script will pop up, not the one that's assigned on the campaign. If you have none on here, then nothing will pop up. Okay. Uh, the call launch, again, we're going to see if it's going to launch the script, the web form, or the second part web form, okay? Uh, since we have no script made, we're going to leave it at none, and we're going to submit. Okay, so now we have more information here, as you see. Uh, again, we can override campaign settings with this. So, let's say that this is for sales of a different product than the outbound. Let's say we have an outbound with an inbound component, okay? and the agents are able to make outbound calls and we set a number in that campaign where somebody can call in also and these agents can take it so if these agents call in then if somebody else calls into this number then the agent again if you have the scripts and everything will receive this information it'll pop up instead of the outbound campaign now um, here you can set the conference numbers for example if this was a sales product and if they needed for this product you needed a different third party verification then this when the call comes in in their agent screen this will automatically whatever we put in here will automatically populate uh, their easy transfer conference numbers okay so if they needed to do a TPV for the outbound it'll be one number if it's different for an inbound then you set them here and all those settings will change once this call is active uh, timer action uh, we use, we I, I personally just use this um, just to remind them that they're going over average channel time, I'll put, yeah, you're going over your average channel time here, and I'll tell it to send a message. Uh, drop call seconds, uh, this one is important. This will tell you how long, this will designate how long a call will be active until before it drops. So um, you might want to kind of balance this out on how long you want your customers waiting before an action is taken, whether it be hanging up, transferring to somewhere else, or whatever. Since uh, you got to be a little bit uh, control with this since you know time is <laughs> time literally is money on this so you don't want them holding too long so you're paying for somebody to hold without taking care of them uh, the call times we're going to get into later but for the sake and purposes we're going to leave it at 24 hours uh, now the after hours this just happens so let's say if we had call time of 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. after 9 p.m. what's going to happen if that call comes in later now normally here it'll just give you a message goodbye and hang up or you can send it to an extension and a phone you can send it to another in-group okay now the interesting thing with this is this is that let's say if you have a a queue of uh, that runs 12 hours but or let's say a queue that runs 24 hours so for the first 12 hours I want my support agents to be on this this side of the globe let's say in Central America but we don't want to be paying them you know overtime and I do have another center somewhere else so and or across the other side of the world so we're gonna set them there so what happens is that if I set this this call time from 8, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. and I set the uh, message instead of message to in group, what would happen is that I would designate an in group, okay? And if I had my in groups already there, then I would let's say assign one group to let's say Central America and one in group to be answered in let's say India. So after 9 p.m., 
all the all the calls instead of being say hey goodbye nobody's available to take a call it will automatically write them to the in group over there and then they will be able to answer the call until after their until you know we designated their after hours time it would be 8 a.m. in the morning for us so I hope that didn't confuse you all but this is one way we can use so this is just to let you know what it is that happens after hours uh, this will let you know if you, if there's no agents available then there's no queue okay the call will not sit there and wait if there's nobody available to take it you can say yes and then you can have it take a message and if I put this to yes right now if there's no agents to take the call then what's going to happen is going to say nobody available to take a call and then it's going to hang up and say goodbye uh, the welcome message file name okay now the welcome message is basically like an answering machine uh, it does is it, what it'll do is as soon as the call comes in it'll play the message that you designate here and then it'll put the call in a queue status or hold status until somebody answers it uh, the generic hold you can you're able to change this the music on hold we're going to get into later but this is where you designate what music they're going to be hearing while they're on hold waiting for an agent to answer or when an agent puts them on hold okay uh, all this other stuff we're not going to really worry about uh, this is just the basics here uh, you, you can control this in almost any way shape or form another one that's really cool here is the agent alert file name in other words um, I found it through personal experience that sometimes a little ding if an agent is talking to somebody next to them they might not hear that so what I would usually do is I would change it to you know something maybe funny hey you have a phone call or a phone call coming in or you can even designate by product or by where it's coming from Florida phone call it's up to you the customer of alerting the agent that hey you're getting a call from this place okay so once we have all that um, we can come in here before submitting okay now all your all your available agents will be here and in this case we only have the administration mine and the test agent so we're gonna select them and what this is gonna do and I'm already automatically assigning agent 6000 to the same group now you guys are probably wondering what the rank is okay now the rank is simple if I have this guy at minus nine, anybody from minus eight and above will be able to get the calls first. So this is how you can set up who you want to take the calls first, your priorities, okay? Now, for this to work, you gotta make sure you do this. You gotta go back over here and where it says next agent call, you gotta make sure it's an inbound group rank, okay? So that's pointless if you don't put it on inbound group rank, okay? so. If you want to designate, let's say if this is a sales and you're getting inbound and you want to put your higher, your best sellers to receive more calls instead of you're doing a round robin, you just say, okay, I'm going to give this guy the higher priority. So any call that comes in, it will always go to the higher priority. And once we hit submit, uh, we should have created the in-group with everything on there. As you see, the agent's assigned and everything is done.